Let's go to villains out. Some of the great villains. Okay, Hannibal, like they're a classic villain for us, right? In this yeah, generation. and again, I, you go, you go, watch the watch Lecter progress as the series goes on. It becomes much more like fairy tale. It's almost Beauty and the Beast mm -hmm. retold. So I mean, there's much more to this than you might think. He's not just a really scary guy. He's a very interesting character. And he's also got that charm about him. We wouldn't mind going to dinner with him yeah. as long as he knew he wasn't going to eat our brain. That's true, right? Yeah. Yeah. Now, I mean, uh, when I was a kid, my Uncle Paul gave me the complete Sherlock Holmes uh, uh, collection, which I read a lot. I don't know if uh, in Scotland if, if Holmes was huge there as well. But Moriarty is one of the great villains of all time. Yeah, and again, no, not many people know Conan Doyle, Edinburgh born and bred. That's right. He was a Scottish guy. Um, and, you know, his, uh, Sherlock Holmes, based on one of his lecturers at Edinburgh University, a real guy. Uh, Moriarty, we don't know who he's based on, but he's a really interesting, intriguing character who almost is so like Holmes, it's almost like Cain and Abel. Yeah. You know, they're almost like brothers and one is going to destroy the other, you're just not sure which is going to kill which. If, if, if Spike Jones were to make the, Char the, uh, the Sherlock Holmes movie, Moriarty <laughs> and Holmes would be the same guy. That's yeah. what we would reveal at the very end. Yeah, I mean, there's a, kind of, there's a little bit of Jekyll and Hyde in there. Absolutely. Because they are so similar. And, and Mycroft would be the guy to destroy the, the, the Sherlock Holmes Moriarty dual creature. I love Mycroft, the brother yeah. with the, br brother the, with brain the brains. Brother. Exactly. Yeah. How about this one here? It could be, I mean, look, there could be four different ways we could represent the Joker. <laughs> Cesar Romero being my favorite. Um, the Joker is a, is, is a villain for you. Well, you know, when I was a kid, not many books in the house, but I was passionate about comics. Loved comic books. There were a lot of great British comics out there, but also American. Batman, Superman. It was always Batman for me, and the Joker was the scary one. You know, I mean, anything that's to do with a fairground is freaking me out straight away. <laughs> you know, clowns, guys that run, that, that run the dodgem cars, yeah. you know, these are all weird guys, right? Yeah. Yeah. And, and the Joker, you know, they've, they've done interesting things with his backstory as the series has progressed. Of course, in the film, The Dark Knight, mm -hmm. unbelievable. I mean, terrifying and an amazing bravura performance. So he's, he's, the, he's the villain, you know, the villains want to be.